now to a different type of art. Joining us now is two-time MMA champion and Muay Thai champion Don Madge to discuss all things career, reconnection and the future. Don, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Don, when I think of mixed martial arts and competitive sports, it just is very much synonymous with physical strength, physical fitness, but also mental strength and mental fitness. So for some of our viewers who are not familiar with MMA, what is it? And is it anything close to what Drikas was pulling off? Yes, absolutely. Um, it's the fastest growing sport in the world. Um, it's a com compromises of all different uh, combat sports. So you're looking at like boxing, kickboxing, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, wrestling, and it's, it's everything mixed together. And um, it's kind of like the, the who, who's this, who's the best you know which yeah. that's how it started out as it was like which martial arts is the best and now it's evolved into its own sport oh i love that you know being able to put together different styles and um and different professions within the mixed martial arts sports is something that i have to take my hat off to but you have to be quite fit don't you absolutely i mean physical physical training is super important um just like any sport you know if you're not if you're not in shape you're not going to not going to be able to compete with the best of the best yeah. um, and like you said to to your point before mental strength is is super important mm. um, that's what separates good from great and um, that's 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 how we got a South African champion right now in the UFC Drikas yeah. and uh, he showed some amazing mental strength in his last fight and pulled off a, a win against a very very dangerous opponent now look you've also been able to get some wins in your bag too at the age of 15 was the first time you kind of were able to celebrate being a champion now getting such early success within the sport and the discipline of mma how has that been able to set you apart in the sport now well yeah i mean i started my first fight was when i was 14 years old and then i moved to thailand and been living in Thailand and competing there from a very young age and uh you know I think having that early that early start that early that early get go on, on martial arts was super super important to my development as my character in terms of like mm. having maturity and discipline. Um, discipline and developing into the martial artist that I am today. Earlier on, uh, behind the scenes, I was speaking to Zareda about Simone Biles. The fact that in the previous Olympics, she was able to take a step back, focus on her mental health. And this year, we saw her dominate on that gymnastic um, kind of arena, taking away so many medals. When it comes to mental health and physical health, how does your schedule look like? How are you able to prioritize your mental health um, as much as you do your physical? Yeah, I mean it's super important. If if all you do is go go go, eventually you're gonna you're gonna burn out. And I think that's the difficult thing with being a professional athlete and being a coach and being a father, being a husband, being a business owner, is finding that 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 perfect balance where you don't overdo one side of your life and then neglect other sides of your life. And that's yeah. that's oftentimes the most difficult difficult thing. But I believe it's like as a man. You take on as much responsibility as you can so that you can grow into that responsibility. You can only grow to the level of your ceiling. And so if you if you limit yourself by not taking on what you can, you're only gonna grow so far. But the balance is the balance is tough and it does take some discipline to to get it right. You know, I love what you said that you can only grow as high as the ceiling you place for yourself. And you've been able to do so in such a remarkable way. But when we look at combat sports in South Africa and the future of it, how high do you think that ceiling is? What does the future look like? I mean, we, we're an un, untapped resource. Like if you, if you look at MMA globally, South America, North America, Europe, Europe, Asia and Australasia have all sort of placed on the map. And only now we're starting to see that the eyes are moving towards Africa. Wow. And we have the first ever South African UFC champion, Indrikas Duplessis, who just defended his title against Israel Adesanya. And I think just having that shows that there's an untapped resource of talent. So we'd like to call on Shane, our assistant for today, who's going to help you demonstrate a signature move. It's called the rear naked choke. And listen, Mzanzi, do not try this at home if you are not a professional MMA fighter or if you do not have a professional around you helping you and training you. But let's get to it. Welcome, Shane. Okay, so I'm going to show a technique in, um, in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, which is one of the disciplines that you'll find in, in MMA. And it's a finishing technique and it's used to, to make an opponent submit or tap out. It's actually what Drikas did to Israel Adesanya to defend his, uh, 
middleweight title. Um, so you can actually just go on your knees there for me, Shane. Wow, okay. So a, a very simple way of showing this would just be here on the knees. Hand goes around the neck. Mm. We start connecting and then I'm gonna start creating some compression around the two arteries and force my opponent to submit. That is called a rear naked, rear naked choke. If Shane doesn't submit there, he will go to sleep. And, oh, because uh, you're blocking off the oxygen to the brain. Exactly. That is why it's important to not try this Definitely at home. Definitely don't do this at home without <laughs> someone trained near you. <laughs> Lovely. Thank you so much, Thank Don. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Shane. Absolutely incredible. And all we can say is, Yella wit nie, wat ons wit nie. Now, after the break, we look at different types of pain and chat about food. That is good for the brain. Everyone behind the scenes is laughing at me, but I'm a Muay Thai you. <laughs> <laughs>